people we don't even know in real life who he was fucking talking about my personal business to. And bro, at the end of the day, like I said, you should have just came to me. And my thing is too, because I'm gonna keep it real with you. I wasn't gonna say nothing. I was just gonna quit. I was gonna say fuck all this shit, bro. I said niggas don't value me. Niggas don't look at me like a real homie. Everybody saying, bro, nigga, fuck them niggas, cuz. I'm keeping it real. But you see, when you say something like that, it's like that's why I was having such a hard time making this decision and why I was. But nigga, to this ain't got nothing to do with the Tuesday a, show. This life. has nothing to do with the Tuesday show. This is the fact that I didn't put my life on the line for this company for niggas to sit there and talk behind my back like it ain't nothing. Like I'm expendable. So like, I, like I'm talk a piece of shit. Your back, bro. I talked behind your back. Who did I talk to? I talked to Lush, and you saw the whole conversation. But that's still behind my back. That, that wasn't known. That wasn't known to me. What is it called when you say something to somebody that you don't say to them? That's called talking behind okay, their back. So, so I'm regardless say, if you said or not, again. you talked behind my back with Lush. And What's that the shit got between out. me talking to Lush and me talking to Josh about it before I made this? Decision? Nigga, Josh is the nigga. That's your business partner who run this shit in the company with you. And I thought that a, Lush he's not was an employee. important part of the company that I could have that conversation you with. You thought too. he was more than me? No, I just wanted to have the conversation about a decision I was considering making. You found out he was a snake. I did. I found out the fucking hard way. Mm. We're about to get and rid I'm of not, your man. And I'm not blaming Lush. Oh, I am. Because when you asked me, I didn't even say Lush said nothing. I'm not even going to put that on there. Yeah, man. and I had to do a little digging. It took me about five minutes of research to figure it out. But nigga, like nigga, I don't nigga, no disrespect to Lush, but how the fuck you gonna put me and Lush in the same bracket when it comes to a nigga how I fuck with you versus how you fuck with him? That shit is that sound crazy, I mean, cuz. Okay, but it's not a friend contest. I'm I put I, I don't give a fuck if it's a friend contest. A friend. I'm talking it's, about it's, nigga. It's not nigga, even a nigga, I, nigga, it's I've, a been, I've been I've been I've been I've been next to I've been next to you. Co-host on the show. I've been next to you, you know, in life or death situations, have I not? Yeah, but I don't know what that. I've been right there with like, you, bro. I've yeah. been right there with you, bro. Ready to risk it all at any given time. Anybody had a problem with you, I'm ready to end it all. So the fact I get done like that, that shit weak as fuck. But what, done like what? Like I had a conversation with on, about man. you with Lush. Like I agree. I, I don't like the tone of one of the things I said in the conversation, which was just Adam. Before, Adam. Before Adam. Before for once, for once, bro, just own that shit, cuz you did me wrong, bro. Just for once, own By that having shit. Having a conversation with one of Nigga, the other co-hosts. Nigga, for once, the just own that shit, bro. You can't even sit there and you're say, you know what? To, what you mean, you always time? You always try so to. So you like don't this, think you don't think you don't think that I got done wrong? Narrative. You don't think that I got? Hey, fuck the narrative. You don't think that I got done wrong in this situation? What the fuck did I do? Yeah, you primarily got done wrong by Lush, bro. <laughs> you gotta take accountability, bro. <laughs> The victim. I can take accountability for what I said, which was I said one rude thing in, in <laughs> confiding in Lush that realistically is the same shit that I've said to you a hundred times on the podcast. Man, listen. All I'm saying is, bro, just like earlier, take accountability, my nigga. Shit happens. It I is what it is. I just I just took accountability for the thing that I did, which is I said this, this thing about you making the same four jokes every week on the podcast to Lush. Oh, man. I and I told you privately, like I that shit was, you know, I don't, I don't like the fact that that was out there. It was rude. I shouldn't have said it like that. But I mean, let's be real. It was just a conversation in private between two co-hosts on a podcast. Shit, crazy, man. Hey, man. Oh, I, I don't know, man. For real, for real, it's like it's crazy. Ah, uh, shit, crazy. The more I even talk about this shit, the more mad I get about this shit, bro. Only, only because, nigga, the type of love that I got. Like, nigga, I'm over here planning your wedding, fool. Sitting there like, nigga, I'm doing this and doing that. Like, nigga, the fuck? Hey, but on some real shit, though, y'all niggas, niggas need to have this conversation off. Is is Have this shit off the camera, dog. You yeah. know what I mean? Y'all done did I, enough. Y'all done, done, done did enough to entertain the people. Get off the camera with this shit now. Like, that's out. You know what I mean? Because the nigga really well, mad about this shit. That nigga, that's real. fucked up. But y'all handle this shit off the camera, man. You know what I mean? All right. Yeah, that's, good. that's a good idea. All right. All right. Yeah.
Man. That shit was finna get dark. Woo.